How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here. We got Grace behind the camera. Like I said in the last video, we got one more thing to install from ADDW1. So they sent us over a gauge cluster face overlay um, to change up the look of the, uh, the gauge cluster inside the instrument panel. Uh, it looks super nice. Um, it's got a, uh, some little details that are going to be special for getting it installed. It is meant for the 07 to 13 GMC Sierra or Silverado. So we're going to be installing on my GMC Sierra. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, um, we have to actually take apart some of the dash in order to get the gauge cluster out. So I'm going to go ahead and just move my programmer out of the way and uh, just pop this panel back. Um, this should be a little bit easier for you, but since I have this controller down here, it's kind of in the way, so, but uh, not too bad. Get that pulled away to basically reveal these, uh, I think they're 8 millimeter bolts. Oh, and they're actually even smaller than that, so they might be a 7mm, so I'm going to go grab that real quick. So there is a 7mm bolt up here that uh, we're going to go ahead and undo. And uh, just so that I don't lose them, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the center console for right now. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this panel off. to reveal the other one that's up in here. But in order to get at that one, we have to take off this top piece here. And what it is is there are some T15 Torx bits. That, uh, just go right up in there. And, uh, might be kind of hard for you guys to see, so I'll go ahead and uh, try and show you the best that I can. So looking at this little hole right in here, this is where the T15 is gonna go on either side. Once we got those out, this top just pop right off. You can see it's just the normal plastic clips that they have on everything else. So now we can get a hold of that uh, seven millimeter bolt. So now from there, we should just be able to wiggle this entire cover off. Um, so this just covers the entire gauge overlay. Once this cover is off, it will reveal our last two tor or seven millimeters, which are down here and here. So let's go ahead and get those off. And actually, there's uh, there's four. There's gonna be two up at the top as well. Okay. So once we got all that unbolted, the cluster will just pop forward and uh, all we've got is this little plug right here. Go ahead and hit the push pin and wiggle it out. And just like that, we have our gauge cluster. Now as you can see, mine is extremely dirty, uh, super dusty. I mean, when you got that cover over it, you know, it's kind of hard to get in there to clean, so you don't really think about it, but uh, now that it's off, it'll be nice to be able to clean that lens back up, but uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs and get the overlay swapped out. So, we've got everything laid out, so these are the new actual overlays that are going to be going on the screen. As you can see, you can see all your uh, lights for, you know, engine check, engine oil, check engine light, traction control. Um, you know, if you're not wearing your seatbelt, so all that's still on here, but uh, it's just got this nice kind of different look compared to the stock factory, just very basic look. Um, so you do get a little bit of instructions, but uh, we're going to help you do this process so that uh, you can follow along in this video and not just these instructions, but these are pretty good instructions. So we're going to go ahead and start by popping this all apart, so you're just going to push these tabs down. Okay, 
and it'll just separate just like that. So uh, there's no need to actually remove any of your needles or this uh, this undercard here. Um, this is literally going to lay right over top. And so all you're going to do is line everything. Line everything up, slide it on, and boom, just like that, it is all lined up. Okay, so um, this is set with um, adhesive stickies, so uh, that way it doesn't shift on you. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this slid on. Be careful, just do what I just did and fight it. Okay. So get it on, get it all lined up, and then push it down. Okay. So now you just want to make sure that these are set properly and uh, we'll go into the truck, turn the key, make sure that they're set in the right spot and then we'll go ahead and close everything up once they are. So we're going to do the same for everything else. Well, we're going to go ahead and just uh, plug this back in. Like I said, just make sure that those are somewhat in the right spot. And take the keys. And the rest here. Put them in. So see how my fuel went to where my fuel is. Everything else went to where it is. And these are now sitting directly at um, the lowest position so then when I go to start the truck they'll sit where they're you know actually supposed to be as far as idle and everything else but uh, you can see here you know because I haven't tuned the truck since we put the headers on my check en or my check engine light is on so we know that's all seeing through it's nice and clear and it's actually lined up just right so we know that we're all good so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off unplug it and put this cover back on Alright, so like we said, I don't want to move it too much because I want to make sure that those stay in line. So we're just going to pop that back together and we are good to go. So as you can see, that's mostly all installed. Um, so the reason we don't have any of the LED lights yet is because these all run into this unit that ADD sends with it. And so now we're going to show you how to wire this up. Okay, so um, we've got all of this in here and uh, that controller it's just got uh, all these plugs so I went ahead and routed the two from this side so uh, this controller we went ahead and plugged everything in the two from that side I just ran up over top of the steering column and the other one from over here just plugged in to all of this so now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to run this underneath this plastic um, at the under part of the bottom console and then uh, I'm going to put everything back together and then I'm going to show you how to wire this to make sure that these LEDs work. So we're going to go ahead and throw everything back together. So it's the same process as putting it or taking it off. We're just going to do it in reverse. So we're going to do all of our bolts, put our plastics back on and then, uh, then we'll show you the wiring process.
we've got everything pretty much bolted back together. So I'm gonna open the garage so I can start the truck up. So all the needles are sitting in the right spot, uh, in the right place. So we've routed all of our wires to the bottom side of the steering wheel. And obviously we don't want them hanging out there, uh, but we still want this to be reachable over here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is run this coat hanger down through the top of the steering column. That way I can get it to the bottom and hook this, which are the plugs, to that. Run it back up to the top and get it all plugged in nice and clean. And then this way, this will all be run out the bottom in the best way possible. Nope, that one's good. Pull that back up. And just like that, we now have all of our plugs accessible. Eyes in the sky. Pull that all back down towards the bottom. So now, it's all good here. We can hide the rest of this up there and still put this nice and secure up here on the dash. So I went ahead and uh, got this controller brought to right here so all I did was route it up underneath here into this fuse panel box so here's my actual power and ground that I still need and uh, this is just routed to here so we're gonna hit adhesive stick it right there so all it is is a uh, peel off this trim from this one. Oh, I'm oh, Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, stick that bad boy right there Right there. Nice and good lock. So now we got our color changer and our dimmer. Now, all it's left to do is wire this up. Um, first thing, since uh, we gotta do just a little bit of wiring, is uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the negative terminal off the battery. And get that out of the way. That way we can do the wiring that we need to in there. It's literally just a uh, positive to power, negative to ground. Um, so it's red to power, black to ground. Go ahead and show you that in there real quick. And then I'll show you it all running. All right, so all I did was uh, take that power cable from our controller and go into this red wire, which I fed into the engine bay, into the fuse box, we'll show you in a second. This other one to this black wire, which I've grounded over here. So now I'm going to wrap them with electrical tape, but I'll show you what I did inside the engine bay. All I did was take a fuse tap and go into a fuse that I knew was an ignition only fuse. So I have it right here as this number eight fuse, which is the O2 uh, sensor, um, it's the 10 amp fuse. So I've got that in there. So let's go ahead and reconnect the battery and I'll show you how it all works. Oh, okay. I really like this thing now. <laughs> Um, so we, uh, we've now got it all wired up and now that it's all lit up, wow, that looks super cool. So, um, you know, we've got the blue LED lighting everything up in the background. Uh, I actually really like the way that looks. I think it really just adds a, a modern look to this, uh, to this gauge cluster. So I'm actually really happy now that I've got that in there, seeing how that looks. So, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm super happy. I got uh, no complaints with it now that it's in. All right, I hope that you guys found this install uh, helpful. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. Just gotta go through, take everything apart the right way, take your time. Um, when you're laying out those gauges, make sure that they're set all right. When you're putting the uh, needles back in the right position, just make sure that they're in the right spot. Um, all in all, uh, I think the product turned out great. I think that looks super cool in there. Love the, the LED kind of brightness of it. Blue is actually my favorite color. I know it's surprising considering everything on the truck's black and red, but love the blue, looks awesome. Um, so 
If you're curious about where to get this product at, I will have it linked down in the description. Also, if you're curious about the oil catch can that uh, ADDW1 sent us for the previous video, I'll also put that in the description. Go check that out if you're interested in getting that product as well. Once again, thank you so much ADW1. Uh, this was super awesome for you guys to send this to us. Really loved working with you guys. Hopefully we can do some more stuff in the future. Um, so once again, I'll link all the products in the description below. My name is Vinny, Caswell Customs, Grace behind the camera. Thanks for watching. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you take any